in terms of the career prospects a career growth in investment banking can lead from roles like financial analyst and associates in bank and operations to more senior opportunities with opportunities to move into front end roles over a period of time when it comes to the equity research roles the second one the key responsibilities include data collection and analysis gathering and analyzing and synthesizing the financial data to support the equity research analysis one of the students who was a person from the wall street school told an interesting yet funny conversation he had with one of the hrs to whom he had actually put to task this is how the conversation happened hr said we offer competitive salary so the candidate asked what is the salary offered hr said don't worry it's very competitive what exactly are your skills the candidate said i have amazing and mind blowing skills so i just asked what amazing and mind blowing skills you have the candidate said don't worry about that i got some amazing and mind blowing skills so in the world so wide where dreams are born careers are paths each one uniquely born From the doctor's care to the artist's brush, every role we play adds to the brush. Teachers who guide with wisdom and grace, engineers building future, setting the pace. Writers weaving stories, chefs creating delight. In every career, there is magic in sight. So follow your passion, let your dreams lead. In every field, plant your seed. With hard work and heart, you'll find your way in the journey of career. You will shine every day. If you have thought of a career in the field of finance, this video is for you. Wherein we are going to talk about opportunities in investment banking, equity research, and corporate finance roles in India. So we will explore exciting opportunities specifically in this domain. So whether you are a finance student or a professional looking to make a career or switch your career in the field of finance, that is where you should watch this video. Okay. So India, that is Bharat. It's an exciting opportunity. Is there a scope in finance? Yes, there is. Is there an opportunity? Yes, there is. So, step by step, brick by brick, callous hands by callous hands, you got to make and build a career in this domain. So, I'm going to break this down into key responsibilities, skills required, and growth trajectory in terms of the compensation that you can have in either of these fields. I mean, the big companies in India, the top investment banks, the equity research firms, the consulting firms like J.P. Morgan, HSBC, Morgan Stanley, Nomura, McKinsey, even the big four, etc., they rely heavily on back-end support to support their front-end activity. And these back-end roles are crucial for ensuring smooth, efficient. and compliant financial operations and many of these roles are outsourced to india because india of course you know it's it's uh, intellectual capital and of course the uh, the people are you know reasonably economical for these companies so let me talk of the first one the investment banking roles the key responsibilities areas is first one is operational management when you are handling trade settlements reconciliations and ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements second is data management when you are maintaining and analyzing large data sets to support trading and investment decisions third one is risk management wherein you are monitoring and managing financial risk through various tools and techniques in terms of the skills required you need strong analytical and numerical skills proficiency in financial softwares and databases and financial modeling and valuation skills in terms of the career prospects a career growth in investment banking can lead from roles like financial analyst and associates in bank and operations to more senior opportunities with opportunities to move into front end roles over a period of time I mean, the experience gained is invaluable providing a deep understanding of financial markets and corporate finance and a lot of people you know graduate to you know the front end roles in case they show merit i'll give you my example i started off with mckinsey knowledge center which is the captive unit of mckinsey right did some reasonably good work with them and then moved i mean did a lot of you know assignments with mckinsey consulting same goes with my partner manoj goel you know he was he started off with the back end office of goldman sachs in bangalore did very very good work there and then moved to the london office of goldman sachs in their front ending roles in the healthcare sector 
right so the hiring process for these roles typically include multiple rounds of interviews focusing on technical skills and problem solving abilities networking is crucial as many positions are filled through the reference you know over over a period of time you know that's is something that we have earned in the wall street school also a lot of our pass outs in the last 15 years were working with the top companies right at senior level positions now you know we started way back in 2009 they were junior level now you know graduated into senior level positions right so we get a direct buy in from many of our ex alumni you know for the existing set of students the so firms like goldman sachs jp morgan barclays they have a large back end operations in india so they offer excellent growth opportunities i mean there are many many of our students who are working with them and they said that they are going to retire from the same set of companies in terms of the compensation the entry level starts from 5 lakhs to 8 lakhs per annum mid level is 12 lakhs to 20 lakhs per annum the senior roles you know it's from 25 lakhs to almost 1 crore per annum when it comes to the equity research roles the second one the key responsibilities include data collection and analysis gathering and analyzing and synthesizing the financial data to support the equity research analysis second is report generation when you are supposed to prepare detailed financial reports and the models the third one is data management wherein you are maintaining databases of financial information and market data and the last one is the support functions when you are assisting in the preparation of investment recommendations and thesis and the presentations so for the skills which is required in this domain you got to excel in equity research you know you need strong foundation in finance and accounting excellent analytical skills and proficiency in financial modeling a degree in finance or economics or a related field is typically required and certifications like cfa you know it could be you know significant advantage for those candidates now when it comes to the career prospects so back end roles in equity research are essential for the accuracy and reliability of the research reports so indian companies and global companies with operations in india are increasingly relying on back end teams to support their research analysts and this trend is expected to continue as the financial markets are growing and they are becoming more sophisticated and more mature across the world so typical entry level compensation is from 4 lakhs to 7 lakhs per annum mid level it's 10 to 15 lakhs per annum and at senior level you know uh, more the number of years of operations you have you know so 20 lakhs to 30 lakhs to 40 lakhs to 50 lakhs you know depending on how how senior you are the third one is the corporate finance roles in which the key responsibilities are financial reporting wherein you are preparing financial statements in in uh, in compliance with the regulatory standards second is budgetary and forecasting wherein you are assisting in the preparation of budgets and the financial forecasts third one is internal controls wherein you are implementing and monitoring internal controls to ensure finance uh, you know to ensure financial accuracy and compliance the fourth one is the support functions wherein you are providing support for mergers and acquisitions capital raising and other corporate finance activities for the skills specifically required in consulting in in the corporate finance vertical it requires research data analysis and preparing strategic recommendations and these roles support front office consultants in delivering high quality solutions to the clients in terms of the compensation the entry level you know now the range is from 5 lakhs to 8 lakhs per annum the mid level is from 10 lakhs to 18 lakhs per annum the senior level roles are from 20 lakhs to 35 40 lakhs per annum depending upon how much of experience you have and it goes up and goes up very fast more the number of years of experience and exposure you have right and in the last you know few years what we have observed in the wall street school that there has been a significant traction for boutique investment banks which are dealing directly with the clients and doing fantastic front ending roles working on deals doing valuations getting in disclosures i mean in the wall street school we have many candidates opting for placements for post their training and we make a sincere attempt to help them with the placements and the placements happen either in bulk bracket investment banks or in like boutique firms So a live update of the placements of our candidates is available on our website, right? So, I mean, what happens with big firms is that you are a part of a very big process, 
a small resource. The exposure is superb because you're dealing with people across the world, right? So consciously, subconsciously, you evolve, you grow a lot, you network with fantastic people. What happens with booty from this, you are doing almost each and everything on your own. Right? So in terms of the learning canvas, maybe the, the boutique firms maybe provide a better learning platform. Right? But everything has their own pros and cons. So you can evaluate this is your requirements and what all you need. My personal assessment is that at the beginning of your career, it's always good to work with boutique firms because the learning canvas is huge. If you want to work with bigger firms, it's always good to work in those firms at a senior level because the level of networking and licensing which happens in big firms at senior level is much much more uh, highly networked as compared to you know what when, when you are a junior resource because most of the time you are just working as a as a small resource in a big setup okay so finance careers finance careers in investment banking equity research and consulting and corporate finance they are challenging but incredibly rewarding, you know, intellectually stimulating and financially rewarding. With determination and the right preparation, you can get great success in these fields. Okay, so in case you are interested in this field, I hope you'll be able to make a choice between which or roles that you would want to get into, supplement it with some professional degrees, right, and then build on your career step by step brick by brick, callous hands by callous hands. So if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and let us know in the comments if you want to have similar topics, you know, that we, you want us to cover. Okay. So to conclude, seek what you love, let passion ignite with dedication and effort. Let's endeavor to reach new heights. In the world of career vast and grand, your future awaits. Let you take a stand. Thanks for watching and see you the next time.